it's your girl Margo here back again with another video and today I am doing Surprise. cooking with Margo Pesach edition. If you don't know what Pesach is, you probably heard it known as Passover. Uh, it's a Jewish holiday where basically we don't eat uh, chametz or grain or grain or wheat products for eight whole days. And this is because <coughs> people in the Hebrews, as known in the Exodus, uh, were in slavery for how long was it? 440 years? So they weren't the Israelites until they left Egypt. And during that time, uh, Moses was communicating with God, apparently. You know, 10 of these amazing, not so great for the Egyptian plagues. Um, and after the 10th plague, Pharaoh basically said, you know what, just get out. And so when the uh, Hebrews were leaving Egypt to go become the Israelites, um, we they cooked this stuff called matzah. And this is basically a oh, bread oh, that oh, is cooked. And it's not the, the flour is not allowed to touch minutes. any water, so it doesn't leaven. And it doesn't touch water, so it doesn't leaven. So today we are going to be using matzah to create something called matzah brai, which is basically like French toast, but during Passover. Passover French toast. Um, and this is my mom's recipe, right? As far as I can tell. Um, and she makes this every Passover and it's always my favorite breakfast. Um, last year she gave me some to bring back to school and I just scarfed it down. But luckily, because of coronavirus, I am home for Passover this year. So I have access to a lot more food and a great kitchen. So let's just get into it. Okay, so first things first, you want to break up the matzah into very small pieces. I'm using about six pieces of matzah yeah, because it's for my whole family, so you just, you just crush it. I'm just using my hands because it's easier. And you can make this as big or small as you want it. Usually my mom makes it kind of small because it's easier to cook with the water, right? So my dad is over there supervising. <laughs> Say hi, Dad. Hi. You probably know him from our video together doing uh, quarantine, an interview with my dad, which I will win. Okay, so as you can see, this is all crunched up. And they're off my knuckles. Then we take this boiled water. We boiled this for about like five minutes. It's boiled. And you just pour it. Hold me a little, just a moment. A little more. You just want it to be a little bit wet so that it's easier to cook. At least a little bit. Take my spoon, and I'm making sure all of it's. I like to kind of break up some of the bigger pieces. So, we're going to use the glass measuring cup. We're always prepared. So, there it is. I'm going to take some milk. We're going to put this to the side. For a minute. A third of a cup of milk. And we're just gonna pour this over the matzah. Mix it up some more. I think it's good enough. So if you guys want to learn more about Passover, there's I'm gonna be including a link in de the description of this video to a video by um, Mayim Balik who played um, one of the characters on The Big Bang Theory. She does a really good job on her YouTube channel of informing people about 
uh, Judaism and Jewish holidays. So I'll have her video in the description. For a second I thought you said eat the eggs and I was like, you just want me to, I mean, I could do that. I could just. So I'm gonna bring these out. You're gonna crack two eggs into a glass bowl, whatever bowl you want. If you're making it for Passover, then it's probably gonna be a glass bowl. And I'm putting these in the sink for now. And then you whisk it. So normally I like to tilt it. This is how my mom taught me to do it. And you just whisk it. You could use a whisk as well, but I usually just use a fork. And there you go. So, I usually just rinse off my hands because nobody likes having egg on their hands when they're cooking. And then you're just gonna pour this over the matzo as well. So I'm just gonna stop this, show them what it looks like. Now, all the matzo has to be coated in the egg so that it cooks well, because egg obviously cooks, so you want every single piece of matzo to be covered in egg and milk and water. If it's not, then you probably need to add more. Probably not eggs, but two eggs is fine. Butter and a knife. So this is kosher for Passover butter. Um, see, right here it's a, this symbol up here, the O-U-P. That definitely means kosher for Passover. You'll probably also see some Hebrew writing on the container. Oh, so depending on the size of your pan, you probably need more or less. So. So you just want the butter to coat the bottom of the pan. So you wait for it to melt. Also, maybe in the comments, you guys can tell me some Passover recipes that you guys make during Passover as well. If you guys are Jewish. If not, then if you're Christian and you still celebrate Passover, I know some of you do. So let me know. Okay, so as you can see, the butter's melted. And it's coating the bottom of the pan. Now it's time to put the matzo on. And now, for the best part. The actual cooking part. I don't you know. I want to use a spatula. It'll be fine. <laughs> you want to spread it out with the spatula. So now you just want it to coat the bottom of the pan just like the butter. You just kind of want to spread it out, make sure it's all cooking very well. I'm not very coordinated, so this is a bit difficult. And my dad is here to supervise because sometimes I make a mess. You always make a mess. I always make a mess. So now you just let it rest until it's all cooked. The egg should cook on its own, so the egg is what's making everything all nice and toasty. So in the meantime, I'm probably gonna set the table just for fun because we're gonna be having breakfast soon. And we, al we also have to kind of make it for my mom as well because she is currently in the basement. So... You have to tell why, that, that sounds kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> she is quarantining herself because she works in a hospital. I've said this in other videos. But if you're new to this video, then um, yeah, my mom's quarantining in the basement because she works at a hospital. She's a clinical audiologist and she's been taking the temperatures of her coworkers as they walk into the hospital to make sure that they don't have COVID-19. So she's been there pretty much every day this week and uh, she worked on the week on last weekend as well. So she's just as a precaution quarantining herself in case she's exposed. Um, so we are very thankful to her for all the work that she's doing and all the work of her colleagues and co-workers at the hospital. So yeah, we have to make her breakfast. So let's get to it.
Also, another thing I forgot to mention is that during Passover, we can't use the same plates that we did because it's contaminated with chametz. So instead, we use these glass plates that are not porous at all. So um, they can't retain any of the grains or anything that we are not allowed to eat during Passover. So these are only for Passover. We put these away for the entire rest of the year and we only bring these out during Passover. Um, and they usually are stored in the cupboard where I showed you the um, cookies and stuff. So we kind of switch those things out. Okay, so my dad was keeping an eye on this for me while I was setting the table. And as you can see, it's kind of all brown and supposed to, the egg is supposed to be mostly cooked. Um, so yeah, now we can turn off the stove and we can serve this up. So there we go. We have this beautiful matzo braai. Okay, this should be enough for mom, right? Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. Oh. She's got the syrup, she's got a fork. And now we do our little diligent duty of bringing it we bring it down to mom. Oh, mom, it's matzo bride time. Mommy, say hi. Hi. So obviously, as you can see, life under quarantine has been a little bit different than we expected. Um, my mom got deployed a couple weeks ago, and she's been in the basement ever since. So she's been down there for a little, two weeks. Yeah, and we just kind of give her food and she is not allowed to come upstairs. She doesn't allow herself to come upstairs. So yeah. So we also like to add some fruit to the meal just because it takes away from some of the bitterness of Passover. Bon appetit. Mm. That is so good. Am I good? Yeah. Good. Oh yeah, you did a good job. It's been so long since I've had matzo bread. Mm -hmm. A year. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and 100% subscribe. Um, subscribing lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content and that you want to come back for more and you want me to continue making these videos. Um, I love making these videos and let me know down below in the comments what you guys want to see next and if there's other Passover videos you want to see. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. See you later. Update on my plants because they are just shooting up here. So I don't know if you can see this, but this is the lettuce. So these are three lettuce plants. None of the other ones have started sprouting yet, but these guys are just like multiplying literally every single day that I look at them, they are at least another centimeter taller. So maybe not a centimeter, maybe a little bit less than that, but it's still a significant growth. So I will keep you updated with all this stuff in the next video, I guess.